couple of times a week. Um, we were, you know, we're the same year. We came in together at Northwestern, so, um, you know, he's a really good friend of mine, but, uh, you know, we both talked about it not tomorrow. Uh, it'll be, it'll definitely be fun to, to be competing against him um, for a change. You think you'll be paired up with him quite a bit? Uh, probably. You know, I know we both kind of play, um, we both play center at times, so, um, you know, I think that that would, you know, definitely be a fun matchup if we were in there together. What makes him so effective? He's crafty. He's not the bounciest guy, but he's effective. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's really smart. He's really smart. He knows how to use his body. Um, he knows angles. He plays really hard. He's a good rebounder. So, um, you know, he's he's a he's a great player for sure. So y'all are really close, like really good friends. Like you consider him one of your better friends? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, yeah, he's a, you know, obviously been through a lot together in four years at Northwestern. So. Uh, yeah, he's definitely he's definitely you know one of my really good friends. How aware of this rivalry were you as a kid, and and you know, what do you know about the history of it? Yeah, I mean very aware. Um, I don't know how you can't be. I think um, you know my whole life I've kind of been been watching this rivalry and some of the great games that have gone on. So um, I've definitely been very tapped into my whole life, and it's just surreal that I'm you know I'm I'm a part of it now. How What's bad do you guys need this game? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a big win for us. Um, you know, we know that um, we got to bring our A game tomorrow, and um, as far as the standings go and everything, it's a it's really a, a big time game for us. How's Coach Davis been since Wednesday? Um, he's been good. Um, I think just um, you know, just talking about the details and the little things that we need to continue to buy into and um, that are really important for us, but. Um, you know, I just think talking about, you know, how there was a lot of things that we could have did a lot better and a lot of shots that we could have made and it was that close of a game um, against a really good team, I think, tells you where we're at and how close we are. I think it's just, you know, it's really, really time to, to move that needle. Pete, what's the biggest rivalry that you've been involved in at this point in your career? Um, I think um, Northwestern versus uh, Illinois is a really, really big one. Um, they were really good while I was there. They had, you know, Ayo Dosunmu and uh, Kofi Coburn, guys like that. So um, I would say probably um, Illinois versus Northwestern being, a, being an in-state rival, but nothing even close to this. Coach mentioned yeah, after the game the other night that you guys need to be tougher, that it wasn't consistent. You didn't consistently match their toughness. How much has he addressed toughness and, and getting to a level and sustaining it since the other night? Yeah, I think, I think a good amount. You know, I think... Um, you know, we had our moments of being really tough, but I think, um, like I said earlier, having the ability to put it together for a full 40 minutes um, all at once is still um, something that we're kind of kind of waiting on and something that we need to make happen right away. So, um, you know, just excited to be able to, um, you know, put that in the works tomorrow. Quick we, question we, about the rivalry before some people have other stuff they want to ask as well. When you decided on North Carolina, did Coach Collins say something, anything to you about – Oh, you know, you're going to play Duke, you know, I'm going to have to root against you at least twice a year or anything like that? Uh, we joked about it a little bit. Um, you know, obviously he went to Duke and, um, you know, he was a great coach for me the past four years. So uh, definitely, we definitely joked about it a little bit. When you hear the guys that have been here for the last couple of years talk about playing Duke, and specifically those last two games last year at Duke, the Final Four, what do they say about it? What do you hear them talking about, their memories and stuff? Um, I think just um, – you know, the fact that it is really fun and it's a rival game and the energy in, in Cameron and in here is, you know, especially um, fun during those games. But I think just the high level of competition. I think both teams know, um, you know, you they, they've said that you can kind of feel the, the history in the game and that almost all the games have been really, really close. And, um, you know, and, and as a basketball player, those are the kind of games you love, you know, the ones that are, Super high level, and you got to bring your A game um, for 40 minutes to be able to get the win. What, what, what do you guys need to do to keep defenses from sagging on Mondo so much as like, like they did the last game? To keep defense from sagging. Sa off. Sagging on, sagging on uh, Mondo. Um, yeah, I think um, trying to get him the ball in the middle of the paint. I think it's hard. It's hard to double team um, when you catch the ball in the middle of the paint because you can because he'll be able to see. Um, be able to see whoever's open, but um, I think just continuing to um, trust him with the ball, and uh, you know he's he's scored through double teams all year long. So I think just continuing to 
to get him the ball is something that's going to be real important for us. So you probably never were mad.